Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, this is the first thing I am recording after getting back from vacation. Of course, unless you're paying attention to my streams, you wouldn't know I was on vacation. Because uh, I scheduled videos to go up anyway. But yeah, this is my first stream. First video back, so I'm going to be a little rough. We're on Dantooine. And we're supposed to follow Bastila. And that's all I remember. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. So let's figure this out. Let's talk to Karth. Okay, let's not talk to Karth. There's the Evan Hawk. Can I board the Evan Hawk? There's Candorus. Well, let's explore this for a moment. Hey, mission. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I mean, I grew up there and now it's... it's... it's just gone. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't really say. think there's anything you can say. I just have to find some way to deal with it, I guess. It'll take some time. Look, I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just... it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's yeah. why we need to stop Malik, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. I guess that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Thanks, Mission. Uh, let's talk to Candorus. Yeah, what do you want? Hmm. So what have you got any interest? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth, gain renown, and make our fortunes. Mm. Is that why you work as mercenary? Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it. Cool, man. Uh, that's gotta be the engine room. Where are you at, Big Z? Oh, Zalbar. Hey, buddy. Is there something you want? Um, have anything more to say about yourself? You don't trust me? <laughs> know anything about the fire? Launch maybe a grenade? No reason for you to hate me so much, my friend. You don't talk much to you. Alright, let's get back to it. Bestella and Karth are outside anyway. Oh. I got lost and found something new. Are you ready to leave Dantooine? I say still. That's interesting. We'll worry about that later. How do I get off this ship? I will need to know my way around it, but... 
This is not the exit. This is the second barracks. It was like across from Candorus. Okay, exit's on the left here. There it is. Uh, okay, that was cool. And let's get back to business. Please don't disturb me. I have pressing matters at hand. All right, so don't talk to anyone who doesn't have any. There's a hut there. Greetings, sent you may take a moment of your time for a question. God. Human citizen that way by the name of Rundel Otsula. It's really difficult with Mandalorian raiders. So I was kidnapped many years ago and not returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. I'm uh, sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Are problems with Mandalorians common on Dantooine? They are. Is there anything of interest on Dantooine? Uh, some local authorities should handle. Keep my eye out for your girl. Sorry about that, man. Hey, hut. Hello, my vote, as are all others who day to visit this poor outcast hut. Who are you? Shuma! Cruel, cruel war. What are you doing here? Sith Republic. Neko is subject to a force type of Sith Armada. Space is clear, filled with interceptors. Fires bombed all intelligent life. You're a hut? Chachiskatomanibobochibedwanibobundihautongatonkimbanankonkekakochikopa. <laughs> Yeah, I'll talk with you again later, dude. You're kind of cool. So they went this way, but there's a mercantile. Okay. Zizra. Welcome to the Jedi Enclave. Zizra Lurjada. I came here with Bastila. She didn't save me, we worked together. May the force be with you too, Deezra. Not expecting to be attacked. Hello, Balea. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Uh, I believe I'm mistaken. I am not a Padawan. Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I have heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I am telling you the Please truth. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you, Balea. Uh, she could have went anywhere. Let's see what the Jedi droid has to say. I'm not looking to exit, I just want to talk. The council has decreed you must not leave the enclave. Please return to your room. I don't have a room yet, dude. Alright, let's try straight. Hello, Salah. Travel search of a little entertainment. Uh, 
I don't have a deck. What about the one I need you, Bobo? Uh, not right now. Mucho shock pack. I'm gonna steal from you, though. Have a good one. Take all those items we can get. Hello, Elon Matali. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. Bye. We'll check right first. Training room. Anybody in here? Nope. You must be the council. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vruk, Master Vandar, and of course, the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Padawan? <laughs> we are famous for joining the trap, Bastila. What now? This is Jedi Council of Corsa. I've got a question for all of you. Jedi Council yes. of Corsa? The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Oh, okay, what do you want Bastila from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Another give greater honor to learn ways the Jedi. Master speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Of course, Rachel, I will learn your ways, Paul. That's a lie. I'm willing to try my best. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Cool. Another dream, perhaps? I'd say perhaps, like it's not very clearly a dream sequence activating. The dark side is strong in Malik. this place. I can feel its power. So that must be Revan. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. This the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable. Can its power truly be worth the risk?
This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? I had a rough you night. Candorous. And Karth, you two are with me. Yeah, what do you want? Know anything from about this world? Saw from space, this world doesn't have a lot of people. I couldn't really have found much work here anyway, so I never had an interest. It looks like a farm world. The Republic has thousands of these places. Ones that get by farming crops and hunting herds of native beasts. But I might have underestimated this place. It seems to be more than I thought. You have anything else you want to ask? Have more for Your now. choice. I'm here if you want something done right. I like Candorous. Can I talk to Karth? I cannot talk to Karth. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Yes, they seem to be searching for something. Astrala has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. I'm having visions now. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between Master and Student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. Are you saying I'm joined you with her? You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? I'll try my best. Understand that there is little choice in this matter for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of, once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted, and perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. I'm ready now. I accept this mission. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. As you wish, Master Vendor. You must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. 
Yeah, me the too, man. You have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. Oh. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Well, that happened quickly. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. What must I do? In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Kind of tests. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. What items did I lose? Well, that will be next time. <laughs> um, so that happened very, very quickly. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. May the Force be with you.